Hi friends, I'm LJ Jarvis from the Warhammer Podcast, and welcome to this new episode. So let's go back a few years, let's say around maybe grade 10 or grade 11 of high school. I found out that Black Library was doing commissions for their omnibus, you could say, or a collection of short stories for their Warhammer franchise. And during that time, I was writing a book, and I'm still writing a book, because if you guys don't know, outside of YouTube, I'm also a fiction writer. I have my own website, and I'm actually in the progress of writing a middle school book. Maybe I'll make a video about that another time. So at the time, when I found out that Black Library was taking commissions for their short stories, I tried that. I tried writing a Warhammer short story, and they didn't really turn out so well, or they never really saw the light of day in the publishing world. Because here's the thing. My issue was that (laughs) I'm much more comfortable creating my own stuff rather than writing with someone else's work. And that has always been a thing, because to me, writing stories based off other people's worlds is, well, in my view, fan fiction. <laughs> and most fan fictions, especially when you go on the websites, aren't that great. So when writing these Warhammer short stories, I just didn't really feel comfortable of showing them to anyone else, because to me, it was fan fiction. They truly felt like fan fiction because at the end it's like, okay, what did this character accomplish? And not really. I felt like none of the characters accomplished anything with these stories. In total, I wrote like two Warhammer short stories. And weirdly, both of them are based off the Death Watch. And both of them have a Blood Raven as a main character. So I think it's easy to assume which was Space Marine chapter I was interested in back then. As for these stories, maybe one day I'll show them on YouTube, maybe be part of the Let's Read Warhammer stuff series, or probably a whole new series in general, but I don't really think I'll ever really publish them or give them to Black Library. On paper, it sounds really cool of the fans writing stories and for Games Workshop to publish them in bundles, but truthfully, I don't think it really works that way. Considering that if you read any Warhammer novel, they're like almost, a, in the most part, top quality. If they were to do something like Creepy Pasta, and have like a website website dedicated for just fans to write stories and publish online, that would be kind of cool. Again, maybe one day I'll show my Warhammer stories, but I don't really think so. It just really depends if how passionate or how if the stories were actually good or not. What do you guys think? Do you think I should? try a new Warhammer story, or do you think that I should publish something first before I attempt to write something for Games Workshop? And if you've written a Warhammer story, what is it about? Leave your story in the comments. And give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll see you again soon.